Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to do a video on the tips and tricks on how I achieve this curly hair, how we go from this to this right here. So I hope you guys find this video helpful and I hope you guys um, try out some of these products and they do work for you as they work for me because these are honestly my ride or die products. If I don't have these products, I am not going to wear my hair curly because my hair curly is just so unpredictable. I'm pretty sure it's like that with like all girls with curly hair. So yeah, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below because once we hit 400 subscribers, you know, your girls got your guys' back and I have so many surprises for you guys and they're like really, really good. So let's try to get to 400 subscribers as fast as we can. And yeah, let's get into the video. So my hair is pretty wet right now and I'm going to go in with this Diva Curl Wave Maker and I'm going to go in with like a bunch of this stuff. That way my hair is not frizzy. So I first like to split it in parts like this and then I kind of just like to run all the product through the hair like this. And I will run it up top, kind of shake it out along the way. Now this Diva Curl Wave Maker Touchable Texture Whip, Texture and Volume, is amazing. This is a life changer if you have curly hair. I highly recommend this. This is like the only product ever since I've tried it that I use because it's just, it's amazing. It makes your curls just look so beautiful. And it also doesn't feel like you have a bunch of gunk in your hair. Now if I were to use like hairspray and mousse like I used to do, Guys, that stuff feels so disgusting in your hair, and if someone touches your hair, they're going to be like, ugh. It feels like and it looks like you have a bunch of gunk in your hair, and this stuff does not. I don't care how much you put, it will not look gunky at all. So now what I'm doing is I just took a little bit more, spread it all throughout my hands, and I'm just kind of scrunching it up like this. And then I'm going to do it on this side. Now I like to do this right when I get out of the shower, like right when I get out of the shower while my hair is still pretty wet because if I let my hair dry a little bit, it will start to get frizzy and we don't want that frizz, girl. Mm -mm. No, no, no. When you have curly hair, you have enough frizz, so you try to avoid all the other frizz as much as possible. So I'm going to tell you guys about my little tips and tricks for my curly hair because um, because ever since I found this product and I started wearing my hair curly more often, I have been getting a few questions from people on how I get my curls to look like that. So I was like, hmm, I'll just make a little video for all my curly headed people out there because I know it is hard. I mean, I've been trying to tame my curls since like the beginning of time and it's just, it's frustrating because they are so unpredictable. Like one day you can have like beautiful curls and they can just look so nice. Your frizz can be tamed and the next day you do the same exact thing and it looks nothing like the day before and they just look crazy frizzy and some curls don't even look like curls. You don't know what the heck they're doing that day. So what I like to do is split my hair to one side even though I know it looks a little bit crazy right now. Now we'll take this hair and start crunching it up. And then don't forget the back too. Get the back part because the back is important too. Even though we can't see it, other people can see it. So I wanted this video to be more focused on my hair and like what I do to achieve um, the curly look versus the other look. Now I know the other look was a little dramatic and that's because I slept on my hair but other than that it was natural. I just slept on it and that's that's how it turns out if I just leave my hair natural, don't put anything in it and sleep on it. So I look pretty crazy but you know it's okay that's my hair. But anyways what I started doing was I always used to roll my hair up in a towel. Now I know every single freaking girl does that or has done it with the towel. Like we all just roll our hair up and then 
like start getting ready and stuff don't do that with the towel girl so what I do now is I annoy the crap out of my boyfriend and I steal his white t-shirts well it doesn't have to be white but I just steal his t-shirts in general and I'll use that to dry my hair and I'll put my hair up just like I would in a towel wrap it up and put it up um, and then if I'm wearing like my hair curly I'll go in like right after I put clothes on even sometimes I do this before I put clothes on I'll just put a robe on and um, and put this stuff in my hair while it's still dripping wet and if it's still like super dripping wet I'll wrap it up again for just a couple minutes just for it to absorb a little bit um, of the wetness in my hair and then I will start going in and flipping my hair and crunching it and all that stuff with this stuff so yeah this diva curl stuff lifesaver do it when your hair is super wet because like I said if your hair starts drying then you're gonna start getting more frizz than you want so the next things that I use is the Diva Curl One Condition Delight um, Weightless Waves Conditioner and then I use the Diva Curl Low Poo but I think the Diva Curl No Poo is better than this if you have curly hair um, so next I'm gonna get the No Poo instead of this one so if you get this shampoo don't expect it to lather now this one since it is low poo it's gonna lather up a little bit so it's going to like set up a little bit, but other than that, it's not going to set up your whole hair. So if you're expecting that, don't expect that. But also that's really good for your hair because if you get a shampoo like this, which I'm not saying that this shampoo is bad because I use this shampoo whenever I straighten my hair and I know I'm not going to wear it curly. But if you get a shampoo like this, it lathers up a whole bunch and that can just make your hair really frizzy. So it's always good that even if you are using a shampoo that lathers up a lot, you're only putting it right here and like basically cleaning your scalp. Don't bring it all over your hair or like wrap your hair and set everything up because that will dry your hair out and that causes frizz. So you want to try to avoid that as much as possible, especially if you have curly hair. If you don't have curly hair... Well, I don't know what that's like but if you have curly hair that's what's gonna happen so yeah just work this and just work this all along your scalp what you're gonna do is just work the shampoo just all along your scalp and then when you rinse it off the shampoo will actually like like just fall through the rest of your hair and clean it so you know your hair is still getting clean it's still getting shampooed you're just not like trying to kill it and then next what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a conditioner three main products that I use when I'm wearing my hair curly when you use conditioner it could be any conditioner you want to make sure that you're basically what I do is I get like the front of my hair right here I won't bring it all the way to my scalp but I'll bring it pretty high up on the front and then just basically just like and then like a third of the way down from my scalp I'll just do the rest of my hair in conditioner and then another trick, I think it was Jackie Ina when she did her hair thing, when she did like her hair routine that she taught me was when you're putting your conditioner to grab your hair like that and just like, just basically flatten it out and run it through. And I don't know why that works, but it does. It actually helps your curls, which is really weird. I don't understand it, but it really does help. Now, I also wanted to talk about hair masks. Now, these are like my all-time freaking favorite hair masks that I have found. Now these hair masks, especially because I have curly hair and it's obviously bleached, it is super, super dry. Curly hair to begin with is already freaking dry and when you just add bleach and color treatment to it, it is just, it is just as dry as a freaking desert, okay? So what I like to use is I love this stuff. This is like one of my freaking favorites. It's the Neoxin 3D Intensive Deep Protect Density Mask. And guys, this stuff is amazing. This nourishes my hair so freaking well. And my hair feels so, so, so soft after using this. I actually have to get more because this girl is already empty. Okay. And then next I have this. Olaplex Olaplex Hair Perfector number three repairs and straightens all hair types. Now I use this because my hair is bleached and it likes to break off a lot and this says it's just a bond builder. Don't really know what that is but it actually it does make a difference. My hair doesn't break off as easily. I'm gonna be honest I don't wash my hair that much like if I have my hair straightened I will wash it like once a week. If my hair is curly um, I'll wash it about twice a week. So, you know, I don't wash my hair a lot. My hair is not super oily at all. Like I said, it's really dry, so I can actually get away with it for a long period of time, and, like, my hair looks perfectly fine. 
So whenever I do wash my hair, I'll just switch off between these two. Yeah, these two are my favorites. I actually just bought the conditioner because I, I'm pretty sure they're new. They just came out with a shampoo and conditioner. Um, and I just bought the conditioner to try it out and probably in a couple weeks I'll get the shampoo just so I can like try it out and see how it is because this stuff is like a miracle worker and so is this stuff. They just really like do my hair so so well and they make my hair so good to me. Because last time I bleached my hair, my hair was just like falling out left and right. So this time I was like, you know what? I am just going to invest in my hair products and make sure my hair looks good and healthy because I like how long my hair is and I kind of want it to stay that long even though I know I'm damaging it. So yeah, those are the products that I live by, the products that 100% no doubt about it, work the best for me, for my curly hair, for my bleached curly hair. Um, so yeah, but if I am going to straighten my hair, honestly guys, I because my hair is not going to be curly, I'm not going to use those Diva Curl products and like waste my money, like the shampoo and conditioner. So I just bought this Matrix Color Last shampoo and conditioner. I bought both of them, but honestly, I think I like the Redkins All Soft Shampoo and Conditioner better than this. I just bought this to try it out. So when I run out of this, I'll probably go back to the Redkins All Soft. It's like in this little like gold bottle, and it works really, 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 really good. So I wanted this video to be more focused on like my hair care products that I use. So I'm going to like just run through my makeup right now, but I wanted you guys to see like what I do with my hair throughout um, while I'm putting my makeup on. So like throughout like that whole time, how I flip it and how I keep crunching it like constantly, consistently. Yeah, I'm just going to play music and play through my makeup.
Okay guys, so this is what my hair looks like when it's all dried down and it honestly feels really nice with all the product that we put in it. If you were to touch my hair, it doesn't feel gunky or sticky. It feels like there's honestly nothing in it and that's what I love about this product. It's not heavy. It doesn't feel like there's anything in it. I can touch it and not be grossed out by my hair or other people can touch it and it doesn't feel disgusting and gunky and sticky like mousse and hairspray does. So if you guys want to see the back, this is what the back looks like. So yeah, this is the side that it ended on this time. Sometimes it'll end up on the other side. It just depends. Um, it just depends, like I said, where it lands. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys took a little tips and tricks out of it or try these products and I hope they work for your hair like they work for mine because honestly these are a miracle worker until I found these products you know nothing else that I could possibly find worked for me and I tried so many products to try to love my curly hair and until I found this product I hated wearing my hair curly because it was just so unpredictable and then it would feel like weighed down and gross and you know frizzy and nothing worked for me so I love these products and I hope it was useful to you guys so that is going to be it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys did then don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below because when we reach 400 subscribers I got a little surprise for you guys so let's try to get to 400 and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.